So big news, something that was, has been brewing for more than a year, because I remember uh, last year during Bill. Oh, I found a story of mine from 2014. Me too. Where Two years ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What happened? Microsoft just bought Xamarin. How about that? How about that? <laughs> what is Xamarin, Mary Jo Foley? <laughs> Xamarin <laughs> is a mobile tools vendor that yep. Paul Therott told me today used to be called Zimmerin, which I didn't Zim realize. Zimian. I don't remember that. Zimian. Yeah. Zimian, sorry. Zimian. It was Zimian. an open source project at first to bring .NET compat compatibility to Linux. Linux, yeah. It started at GNOME. It was part of first, GNOME. The, or as the, the kids call it, GNOME. GNOME. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's GNOME or GNOME. It's, no, I don't either. I think but. it's GNOME. It's the GNOME. You can rest assured that whatever way I just pronounced it is incorrect. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's pronounced it's glib. I'm sorry, Mr. Thurow. Once again, you have uh, abused the English language. Um, so Xamarin is not a high-pressure pressure high pressure medicine, high-blood pressure medicine. <laughs> right, no, right. That's Zeralto. <laughs> <laughs> but it comes right after it in the dictionary. What, uh, so, but what puzzles me is that Microsoft has .NET. In fact, they invented it. So what do they need a .NET compatibility layer for? Boy, that's silence. Uh, that is dead silence. <laughs> I was, I was deferring to the I think Mary we're both Jennifer. posting while we're doing oh, the oh, show would right you like now. To, would you like to, to wait a moment? Because this just broke. Yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. No, Leo, the no, reason so is what, because, yeah. oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, I was going to say, what, what Xamarin lets you do is you, they they uh, let you use C Sharp, Microsoft C Sharp, to build iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac apps. That's their core business. And since, obviously, Microsoft cares more about those platforms than any other. These days. These days. Spoken like a true Windows phone fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why it wouldn't they want a tool? That they would not buy this company. It does. Because yeah. yeah. they, they, they are one of the best purveyors of iOS apps. Yes, Right now they are. Right up there with Google, which is also bizarre. <laughs> so odd. But you right? go where the customers are. Yeah. 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 Right. So, um, you it's know, also, immediately It's also when a tool set now more than as much as it, it is, is a, a It's library. a tool set, right? Um, but you, immediately, I think what all of us Microsoft watchers are thinking is, oh, so is this how universal apps truly go universal now? Because when Microsoft talks about universal apps currently, they mean universal Windows apps. Right. But what if there was a way you could create, uh, Microsoft developers could create iOS and Android and Mac and Windows apps? Then they uh, would really be truly, truly universal. Yeah. And by like the way, I've always felt like of. this was a key part of the strategy that, you know, mm -hmm. you get it going on Windows, but I always sort of felt like maybe they'd bring in Android next because that would be so easy, kind of yeah. move from there. But this, I think you're right. This could be... An interesting step in that direction. Truly universal apps, yeah. Could be. Hmm. Yeah, because you write once, uh, just like, just as you do with XAML, but you but you write once to a mono to the uh, .NET library, and then tools from Xamarin would make it work on every platform. Is that right? You don't code for iOS in this. No. Well, I see what you're saying. Right. So they probably. I, I don't actually. I'm not a. I'm not a developer by trade, Leo, but my understanding is that this allows you to uh, target these different platforms with the same app um, and, you know, spit out different versions of it that will work on the different platforms. Let me, let me so, put this in a way you would understand, Paul. It's, a, it's like Delphi. 